evening. Welcome along to United Minutes Live match highlights. We are here at the New Erie for the Southern League Division 1 Central Playoff Semi Final. It's uh, Bedford Town. And we're warming up just there. And then they are taking on Ware, who are just down the other end. Down there, going through their paces as uh, they get ready for the game. A little while to go to kick off. The crowd is building up nicely, expecting a big crowd here this evening. So, plenty of people here ready for the game, ready to see who they uh, will take on in the playoff final. The one is between AFC Dunstable and Northam Abbey. So, uh, we'll wait to see. Hopefully, a positive result will be there. Hopefully, they'll get through to the final in the face. No way till I get to one of those two. But, uh, I'm sure that we should want to see on that. Do remember, find us on social media. We are on Twitter and on Instagram, which is 90 Minutes EHR. We are also on Facebook and TikTok, which is 90 Minutes Live. So uh, do drop a like on this video, do give us a follow. And uh, before we get on with the match highlights, let's take a look at the two team lineups. Ball deep, and his team as they take the pitch. Big crowd here, as you would expect for uh, this playoff uh, semi final with uh, the right to meet either AFC Dunstable or Waltham Abbey, who are playing a little bit uh, further south in Bedfordshire this evening at Creasy Bar, wearing change strip, the orange shirts, and black shorts. Bedford in a familiar all blue with white sleeves. Let's take you through the uh, team lineup, starting with where we thought Paul Halsey would uh, ring the changes after Saturday. Six of them are Steph Giorgio, David Soda, Mitch Hahn, John Clements, Jack Dreyer and Joe Dearman are all back in the starting lineup. And we'll have Fred Burbage in goal. Steph Giorgio and David Soda are the full backs. Lewis Rose and Jack Grosvenor are the centre backs. Mitch Hahn and Alex Warman will anchor the midfield with Jack Dreyer playing just in front of them with a front three of Theo Afori on the right, Joe Dearman on the left and John Clements through the middle on victory. It's not been Abbey ground for wear this season. 7-1 they lost here to Bedford, 4-0 they lost to Biggles Wade. About time that got put right as the game gets underway with a full start. So I hope that's not going to be the way the evening's going to go as uh, the referee Stuart Kyle it was uh, Theo Afori, I think, who jumped the gun a little bit soon. But we have now got underway with Ware kicking from right to left. We're slap bang on the halfway line here at the uh, new Erie as Cole Mentor heads the ball back to his goalkeeper, uh, Mark Smith. Bedford must have been disappointed with, the, oh my word, a thumping challenge going in, and we've got a yellow card immediately. Theo Afori's gone down in a heap, and the uh, challenge came in on that far side of the field. Let's hope Theo's OK and uh, quite a start. Mullins will collect it again and go back into his own half for big Carl Mensa. Mensa's long ball forward onto the chest of Steph Giorgio as his pocket picked rather by Lovejoy. And here is uh, Leon Lovejoy tries to turn inside Steph. At the end he's gone outside him as the number 10. Puts the ball across the box. Here's Ryan Blake with a header. First shot of the evening goes by way of Bedford and maybe he should have done better. Mark Smith will uh, take the kick as uh, evening starts to beckon there at the uh, New Erie. It's been a nice day. And, oh, it's got a little bit more chill in the air, but uh, certainly preferable to what we had on Saturday as Lobjoy hits the ball and a good save by Fred Burbage. Had to dive down. And there's a man who scored 17 in 19, full of confidence, thumped it in. And Fred Burbage did well to block it. Here's Prosper on the edge of the well area. Prosper plays the ball in, ball in for Ryan Blake. Oh. Where could be in trouble? Burbage in the way again. Fred Burbage to the rescue twice in the space of a minute. Where will look to get it clear, but Jack Dreyer's giving it away to Prosper on the edge of the area for Liam Dalton. Prosper fires the shot wide. And Fred Burbage is having a shout at his defenders because he's kept wearing the game there. 
Liam's cross is uh, over here and Steph Giorgio will be there with Ryan Blake and Steph does well to come the other side of Blake and find Theo Forey back for Alex Borman. Long ball forward, looking at a run of John Clement down that right hand side. Big goal meant for there as well. A little bit of strictly gum dancing going on between the pair. Glamo comes up with the ball though. Plays it for Joe Dearman and oh he couldn't collect it. If he had he could have had a shot in and there was a chance. Well, if we are marking it off in uh, quadrants as it is, it's another one's elapsed. 31 minutes gone here on 90 minutes live in association with Easy Shelf Direct. And it's still nil-nil at the New Erie. John Clements pulls the ball down. Steph Giorgio and then Alex Warman will collect it. Carl Mentz has come out from the back. Here's Steph Giorgio making one of those runs. Goes big shout for a free kick. But I think Mentz have got the ball as it's put out on that far side, like to have another look at it, we don't have that opportunity, so uh, referee said nothing doing. Liam Dolson will uh, take the corner for Bedford on that far side, once again the ever-present threat of Carl Mentzer's inside the uh, six-yard box, Lewis Rose there with uh, Alex Collard as well, getting to know each other well inside the area, as the uh, corner comes across, header in for Collard, it's in! Fred Burbage couldn't get it. Alex Collard, the skipper, has scored it. 36 minutes gone. And where find themselves a goal behind. A goal from a corner has caught them out. And Alex Collard gives Bedford the lead. Forward for Mitch Hahn onto the halfway line for John Clements. We need to remember as well they were 2 0 down at home to Bedford by this stage in the game. David Soter down the line for uh, Joe Dearman. Joe Dearman's ball across the box. Theo Forey had a real chance there, but uh, in the end he flicked it ahead and it went right wide. If he'd known he had that much amount of space, he could have brought that down. But so it's Liam Dolson again. Collard's coming up again from the back. We'll have to get their mic marking better than it was last time around. Dolson's corner will come in. It's the same as last time. Collard's there again off the line by David Sota. Well, Alex Collard thought he'd get a brace in by Lovejoy and grabbed by Fred Burbage. Long throw. Throw goes in to the near post, headed up in the air, goes to the edge of the area, turned by Lobjoy, and ball blocked over onto that far side for Liam Dolson. Liam's cross is a decent one, where do well to sort it out? Only as far as Martin, who plays it on this near side to Ryan Blake. Blake tries to go around Joe Dim and he does all the way across the area. Nobody on the end of it, where get it clear? Hit in by Mullins and it glances off the top of the crossbar. He does so. Left footed downfield, John Clements wrestling away again with Adam Martin this time. The ball forward by Prosper going down that left hand side. Liam Dolson's got the legs on Lewis Rose, comes in, he's locked oh! it. Oh, he's locked it over the top of the crossbar from six yards out. 17 goals in 19 appearances. You would have put the house on that, ended up in the back of the net, and he ends up out the ground. John Clements going up with Collard, Collard at his back. Ball comes off for Dudley's chest, who hits it towards us. It then comes off a young lad right in front of us on his uh, coat to the bell. No, he's still got his drink. That must be a tough glass. I thought he coat would have gone there. Joe Demon brings it up for wear, turns inside a couple of shirts, but wrestled away from him. Lewis rolls in front of Liam Dolson, but here's Ryan Blake down the right hand side. Lobjoy makes his way into the box. Jack Grosvenor is the defender. Blake goes round Grosvenor. Blake still going, pulls it back. Nobody there is Lobjoy! 2 0 to Bedford Town. He might miss one. He wasn't going to miss two. And in first half, time added on. The man who scored a brace at Watson Park to put Bedford two up at half time has done the same here in the playoff semi final. We've got work to do at half time. Still a reminder, uh, 2 1 down at half time. At Watson Park, here's Steph Giorgio coming forward for Ware. Still coming forward. Look at the John Clements. Far side, Theo Fori has got a bit of space. Theo Fori though gives it away tamely to Green, and that's going to be the final action 
of a first half that up until the 36 minute was going well as far as we were concerned. Well, that's when Alex Collard rose to head in Liam Dolson's corner. And Liam Lovejoy, as you just heard a minute ago, thumping the ball in from across from Ryan Blake for his 17th of the season. Mountain to blind for where at half time they trail here 2-0. Plenty to play for as there is here as we get underway again in the second half with Bedford kicking from right to left. Next goal is going to be massive. Bedford score it, it's good night Vienna. If we score it, it's game on. No change in our half time from uh, either manager as uh, Jack Grosvenor was uh, trying for an offside against Leon Lovejoy there. Alex Warman will take the kick right from the touchline on that uh, far side of the field. High one with the right foot, headed up in the air by Collard, who's not missed a lot this evening so far. Headed on by Jack Dreyer, fed on this near side for Theo with four. He to get it across the box. He does! Oh, Jack Rover was just teeing up the header, and Mullins got there first. And then the end, he's blocked the ball from Joe Dearman, and here come Bedford with Ryan Blake. Blake coming down that side. That is a sensational challenge by Alex Warman to make up that amount of space, didn't he go? Over on that uh, far side of the field, down the line, Jack Dreyer gets his head there first. Alex Gorman does well to bring it down on his chest. Here is Theo Afori, plays it to Jack Dreyer, brings in Steph Giorgio. Steph tries a shot all the way along the ground, and Smith, well, he made hard work of that again, but we saw it going all the way along. Didn't have much power, but he's pushed it behind for a corner. So you, you've got to say, what a tremendous performance getting in the playoff semi-final with such a young team. Ball on this near side, Jack Green goes up well, but uh, Jack Dreyer finds Theo with four. He turns, edge of the box, puts it in, and Smith has to punch it away. Once again, the goalkeeper, none too sure, punched it out in the end as Steph Giorgio runs Ryan Blake's pocket, where I've got a little bit of momentum going here. Is Theo Afori? Oh, shows too much of it. The green. Steph Giorgio thought about the shot. Brings in Mitch Hahn. Left hand side is Joe Dearman. Fires it across, but it dribbles wide of a goal post. 15 minutes and a bit left. We're looking to add to those 19 last 10 minute goals they've scored this season. I think it's going to take something like that as Liam Dawson picks it up on this near side, puts the ball across the box. Oh, a great save by Fred Burbage as Lovejoy looked for a second, followed it. He just hung in the air and Fred put out a big arm. Smith will uh, take the kick and the goal away to our right hand side. Kick around Smith when he's the way off. Free head up for Lou Rose, but. Uh, Headed by by Collard, who really has not missed anything in the air. Lovejoy gets ahead of Steph Giorgio, is Liam Dolson. Liam strifts inside, fires well as we know he can off the right foot, but that one didn't have the range and goes well wide of Fred Burbage's goal. And uh, well, we've got a break in the play, and I think it's uh, worthy that we end with the man of the match, Simon. And, uh, Where's your money lying? Well, I mean, I mean, I mean let's, let's go through uh, you know, a couple of the options. You know, I mean, Fred uh, made a couple of, you know, it was very important saves in that first half. Good save in the, uh, in the second half. Uh, uh, this gentleman just in front of us here, you know, Steph Roger, I think he's had a, you know, a really good game. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, he went so exactly. He's been all over this pitch. You know, he's worked like an absolute coach. He's full. Back to every ball and every time that he's in you know, that he's had a chance to you know, be involved in. Yeah, absolutely. Well done, Alex. Another uh, sterling performance by a uh, player who turned well season round. When he arrived and Jack Rovner arrived, before they arrived, for the playoffs for a dream. So uh, Theo, I think, is going to take it, plays it on this right hand side for Steph Giorgio, who managed to get the ball across the box. Kieran Bishop fires it in. I think it's going to be too late. But Kieran Bishop scores his second goal of the season for Ware. And they have a season where they've only scored, failed to score four times. And oh, what might have been if they'd not let that goal in in first half injury time to Liam Lovejoy. Goal scorer for Ware, number 12, Kieran Bishop. Here's Fred Burbage from the goal away to the left hand side, but that is going to be it. It was too little, too late. 
Preston here and Bishop. Where well, season has ended at the New Erie. Bedford Town go on into the playoff final on Monday, which they will host here against AFC Dunstable or Waltham Abbey. We'll have a look and see how that one got on to let you know what that fixture will be. But the disappointment of Saturday when they failed to win the championship has turned into the joy of Wednesday as Bedford have beaten Ware here by two goals to one.